hello friends once again uh, once again i am there and uh, last time i told you of java program today i am going to tell you exactly uh, when we are importing any package in java what is the meaning of that and exactly at what place all such type of packages are available particularly when we are using c then uh, even such type of things are not clear to explain what is the uh, difference between Uh, library and what is the different uh, what is the difference between library and uh, header files uh, so particularly at this place no any header file directly we are importing the packages but at what place such type of packages are residing i have to, uh, i have to tell you and you have to know it in a better way uh, so today i am going to tell you exactly at what place such type of packages are available but before that you have to understand properly uh, what such type of package is and uh, what about i am talking Uh, so just i am switching the screen and uh, you can see last time i told you uh, first of all you have to imp uh, you have to write this statement import java and uh, this um, java.lang.start you can see it you can see it very easily import java.lang.start once more i am going to write it uh, in a very highlighted way uh, that import java.lang.start okay and other packages you can include like java dot util dot star import is to be written in all okay uh, third thing you can write import uh, java dot net dot star okay so such type of packages we are using and uh, in the beginning of program because all the methods uh, those are inbuilt are defined inside in type of uh, in uh, such type of programs uh, in lang in util in net etc and what is the meaning of dot star means i am going to import all the classes of lang util dot star means i am going to import all the classes of util and meaning of dot net dot star means i am going to import all the packages inside that now i want to know exactly i want to tell you exactly at what place such type of packages are available so friends uh, for that purpose i have to go on to my pc so just i am switching the window be careful and see it here now inside that you will be seeing uh, uh, the netbean and uh, just i am going to switch on the netbean uh, not netbean and just uh, you have to go inside your computer Uh, you have to know first at exactly at what place java is installed so you can see it here in program file java is available you have to be very careful about uh, the version of java which version of java you are using because when you will be uh, going to this uh, java folder just see it here in java folder there are there may be many different versions particularly in my computer many different versions are available there like uh, 1.7 and 1.7.25 so such type of versions are available there and other folders are jre different versions of jre so particularly i suggest that uh, whenever you are installing java then uh, only single version uh, should be available otherwise if you require it for different purpose then a lot of configuration sometime is to be made uh, so jdk 1.7 i am using particularly uh, for this programming inside that you are seeing bin folder includes jre and lib etc so uh, exactly i have to know at what uh, place my packages are available so when i am going to jre in jre you are seeing one lib folder inside that if i am pressing r then you will be seeing rt.jar file is available there so just i am um, scrolling it and you can see it here just a minute you can see it here uh, that uh, this rt.jar file is available there in this rt.jar file all the packages and sub packages and main package java is available there if you are removing this rt.jar your program cannot be compiled cannot be run only with the help of this rt.jar your program are run and compiled so uh, if anybody has removed this file you have to be very careful about that uh, um, about about this file okay so just i am going to copy this file on the i yeah, just i am going to copy this file on the desktop already to save your time i copied it earlier so this file is available here this file is available here my rt.jar file you can see it here this is this is my rt.jar file now 
in which way I have to know about the detail of this file then what you have to do just you have to rename this file you have to rename this file and uh, what is the procedure of rename just you have to change jar to zip jar to zip zip please first copy it to desktop only then you have to do any type of test with this file otherwise your java will not be running it will stop working so please be careful so just after that you will be getting one message that uh, you are going to change the name of that yes we are going to change after that you will be seeing it is available in the zip form but friends sometime it is happening with us you are not able to see the extension of this file then what type of change is to be made for that purpose just go inside my computer and uh, at this place you will be seeing the folder option folder option inside this folder option you will be clicking on view then there will be a option hide the extension for known file types okay hide the extension if it is selected then you have to deselect it because if it is already checked then your file extension will not be shown to you so what is the solution for that just uh, deselect it just uh, remove the click from this place and then ok and go back and you will be seeing extension of your file so that you can rename that ok now after that you have to extract it already I extracted that so I am having that complete folder after extra because it will be taking some time in extraction that is why I am not extracting uh, in this video or in any YouTube video uh, already I prepared that so after extraction you will be getting this type of folder I am putting this folder here and go inside that now come back before that you have to understand something because I told you on that day that uh, just uh, come back here and see import java.lang.star java will be the main folder I told you java will be the main folder inside that there are many subfolders name of one folder is lang name of another folder is util and name of another folder is dot net that is net so such type of folders are available in main java folder so now you will be seeing exactly the same thing here come back and uh, try to see it now i am switching the screen uh, back to my now i am going back just i am closing it and i am clicking on rt.jar in rt.jar you are seeing the main folder is java in java you are seeing dot lang folder you are seeing dot net folder you are seeing dot util folder and so many other packages are available here okay so this is the place of residing this uh, my um, all the packages those are imported in java in very beginning so you have to memorize that because this can be asked in interview question and sometime when you are going to create your own packages then at what place your uh, complete uh, package will be put you can understand it in a better way and uh, it is very easy uh, to understand and uh, friends uh, I will be coming soon back on the YouTube with my new uh, So friends uh, today I told you about the um, all the packages at what place they are available in the computer and uh, they are staying uh, inside the JDK folder inside JDK folder you have to go in JRE in JRE you are using uh, you are having one rt.jar file and uh, how to do the dissection of this rt.jar file just you have to copy on the desktop and after that uh, you can uh, rename the uh, rename rename it into a .zip file and after that you can extract all the packages so if you have any question related to that you can ask to me you can put in comment section uh, but uh, subscribe for my channel and uh, like my videos uh, if you have any doubt then you can ask to me and click on the bell icon okay thank you